in Creole Parametric, there is a drawing detail setting that allows you to show dimensions in a drawing in isometric views. Let's take a look at how to do this. Here I have a part model open. I've used this model in other videos for drawings and model-based definition. It's got a bunch of different details showing in various different combination states. And let's go make a drawing of this. I will click on the new button and then change the radio button to drawing. I'm not going to bother changing the file name or entering in a common name. And I'm not going to use a default template. I'll click the OK button. I'm just going to create a drawing with my standard format. I'll click the OK button. I will use sheet one of my format. My format wants to fill in a bunch of different parameters in the title block and the revision block, but I just hit enter to get past all of that. Let's create a general view. I will right click and hold and choose general view. I'm not going to use a combined state. Let's locate the view about over here. I think the view that I want to use is the left view. Let's try double clicking on that. I just zoomed in and zoomed out real quickly in order to update the drawing. And that looks good. Uh, let's see, the scale is using a scale of one. I'm fine with that. Let's click the OK button. And now I have my drawing view created and there are a bunch of different details that showed on here as well. That's because of a config.pro option. If I go to File Options Configuration Editor and then click the Find button, I'm going to search on a keyword. I'm going to type in auto show and then hit the enter key. There is a configuration option called auto show 3D detail items. And as the description states, when this is set to yes, AEs, in other words, annotation elements parallel to the view will be displayed while creating a new view. And the default value of that is yes. If you do not want to get those detail items automatically, you can change this to no, and then add change, close out of here, and then OK. It prompts me to change this in my personal config.profile, but I'm just going to change it for my session. Let's click the no to save the config.pro, and it looks like I have a few that are appearing multiple different times. Uh, so for example, I could take this one and say, hey, let's erase it from being displayed in here, and that way, I've cleaned up the view a little bit. Same thing, I could go to this one and say, hey, you know what, I actually want to delete that one from appearing in here. So that is my first view. Let me throw in a couple of projection views here before I make my 3D view. I'm just selecting the parent view and then from the mini toolbar choosing the projection view icon and throw another view over here. So that way I've got three views on here. Let's make our 3D view our isometric view. I'm going to right mouse click and hold, and then from the pop-up menu choose general view. I'm not going to use a combined state again. I'm going to locate the view about over here. And for my model view name, I think one of these ISOs should be good. And again, I will just zoom in and zoom out quickly in order to repaint the screen. For the scale, I want this view to be a little bigger than the other views. Let's change this to a scale of 1.5 and then hit the apply button. And everything else about this view is good. I will click the OK button. Uh, maybe I want to grab the scale node over here and move it over, grab the view. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want to be able to move the views around, make sure on the layout tab that the lock view movement is not selected. When lock view movement is selected, when I select a view, I'm not able to move around. Let's deselect it and that way I could, you know, adjust it. Hey, maybe I want it to be over there a little bit instead. So let's try to show some of our drawing details in this particular view. So for example, I can select one of my details on here and then from the mini toolbar I can choose move to view and then when I pick this view I get this message that you cannot move the specified dimension to the selected view. Similarly if I go to the annotate tab and then click on show model annotations and then pick this view there's only one dimension that it says can be shown in this view and it's one for the thickness from the shell feature. Let's cancel out of here. 
if you want different details to be able to be shown in these views where the annotations are not planar to the orientation of the view, you have to change a drawing detail file setting. Let me show you where that is. If you go to File and then Prepare and Drawing Properties, you'll get a dialog box. In Creole Parametric 7.0, they added these additional controls for tolerancing standard and tolerancing standard version, but I want to change one of my detail options. So I will click on the blue change hyperlink over on the right hand side. And here we have our drawing detail options. And there are a bunch in here. If you scroll down in here, you can see there's quite a di few different settings for controlling how entities are displayed on the drawing. I happen to know that the fifth group of settings pertains to dimensions. These options control dimensions. And the very first one is the one that allows you to have dimensions in views like that ISO view. And it says, hey, the description is, determine whether dimensions are shown in isometric views. The default setting for allow 3D dimensions is no. That's what's indicated by the little asterisk next to the setting. You can use the drop down list to change this from the default no to a value of yes, and then add change. I'll hit the apply button and then close the options dialog box and then close over here. And now I can select this dimension and from the mini toolbar, I will choose move to view and then pick this view. Lo and behold, it's able now to show this dimension in this view. And if I click on the dimension, I can do things like toggle the orientation of the arrows, flip the arrows. Let's take a look at showing some other different details in here. Uh, let's go about to the show model annotations. And in this dialog box right now, it is set to dimension. I will pick this view. And of course, there are a ton of different dimensions in the model, and all these can be shown in here. I'm just going to select a bunch of them. I'm just clicking on them. And as I click on them, the check boxes end up getting selected in here. Be aware that I am not holding down the control key when I'm doing this. I can say, hey, you know what? I also want this one in here. And let's see, maybe I want this one. There's another one in there, but let me just click OK for now. And so there, there you see a bunch of the different details, and I can grab them and reposition them. And what I like about it is that now they automatically snap to the center as you're dragging them. Now, one thing about this, you can create dimensions in this 3D view, but created dimensions oftentimes will end up looking incorrect because it's actually creating a dimension for the geometry as projected in this view. So it might not be exactly what you want on here. But again, by changing that drawing detail setting, allow 3D dimensions from the default no to yes, you'll be able to place your different dimensions in isometric views like this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.